Hi, this is Miss Delosier, and this is another in our series of interpreting pedigrees. So we're looking at the same pedigree in all of these videos. In this example, we're going to be checking to see whether or not our pedigree is autosomal recessive. So uh, here's our pedigree, and we're going to use capital N to represent normal, because um, that would be the dominant trait. And then we are going to use lowercase n to represent affected. So, if our affected individuals are all recessive, then what that means is that all of the individuals that are red are going to be little n, little n. So, that means that all of these red individuals are little n, little n. We're just going to look at the F1 generation initially. So let's look at our parents. Dad is little n, little n. Mom is obviously going to have at least one big n, right? Because she has to, otherwise she wouldn't be normal. Now, in order for mom to have three offspring that are affected, she's going to have to carry a recessive trait also. So that would mean that mom has to be heterozygous. Now the question is, can I produce these two offspring from these parents. So if dad is always giving a little n, mom would have to give a dominant normal trait there. And she can because she does have a dominant normal trait. So, so far, so good, right? Now, if this individual is carrying a normal trait, uh, it is possible that all three of these individuals could receive a normal trait. So that all normal family works. Here, this individual's little n, little n, which means mom has to carry at least one little n. She has to carry a normal allele because she's normal. And this individual would get a normal from mom and an affected from dad, so that would work. This individual has a normal because they are normal. And they're passing that on to both of these offspring. These offspring are affected, so they're carrying two little n's. Um, one of those is from dad, which means the other one has to be from mom. So you see, we were able to make that whole pedigree work out, um, which means that this has to be a possible mode of inheritance too. So we've gone ahead and we've checked off that this trait could in fact be inherited in an autosomal recessive manner.